So we're talking about ball position on your driver, a common problem and a very, very simple fix. So the most common thing I get asked when I get clients in for lessons is that they want to work on consistency. And that's because you want to hit the ball further, you want to hit the ball straighter, completely understand it. But quite often people can have the right intentions and still have issues with sort of setup and swing that give them inconsistent results. And we're talking driver here. So we know that when we set up driver, we want it to be just inside the left heel because then that's going to promote an ascending arc into the ball. So we know that the club needs to come up as it's going into impact. That's going to reduce backspin and increase launch angle. That's going to give the best possible results for hitting longer, straighter drives. That's what we want. People can still struggle with that. Okay, so the reason that we don't want it further back, we know, is that that's going to in, um, make the angle of attack steeper and increase spin rate. That's going to reduce the amount of distance that we can hit. So people put it further forward, just inside the left heel, but then still struggle to get a consistent result. And the reason is this, so if I set myself up here, get the swing, ball's just inside my left heel, as I come in, people get the club, trying to get the club on the inside path, get hit. Now the moment that you do that, if you try too hard to get the club on an in, into our swing path, which will probably be optimal for most golfers, what happens is, is they deliver the club in, the pelvis tucks under and the chest goes back, and then they start getting a little bit flippy with the hands. So from this angle, you can see, so even trying to get a little bit of spine angle tilt there, but as I come in, trying to get the club to the inside, pelvis tucks under, chest goes back, and then you get flippy. So even with the ball position further forward, you get an inconsistent results. If you're a person that struggles with that, I'd actually recommend you to put the ball further forward in your stance and try and square the spine up a little bit, okay? And the reason being, so like here, if I put that more level with my toe, that as I swing, it's much easier to get the club coming in on a better path. And also, with the ball being further forward still, it encourages you to hit up on it still, but it'll also allow the club face to close a little bit. So rather than get those sort of leaky pushes out to the right that way, as you come in, it's going to allow you to square the club face up better, hit from the inside, which is what you want, and then you're going to hit some more consistent drives. So it should look like this. Right, so just set this one up, so the ball's level with my left foot, doing a kind of not too much shaft lean, um, not too much leaning back that way, so still leaning back slightly, but just this is just going to help me allow to help square the club face and make it a little bit easier to hit the driver. Here you go, starts off nice and straight, a little bit of turn, but it just having that ball a little bit further forward will help me close the club face into the ball, get rid of the push and the horrible shot out to the right and get a little bit more consistency. But over the last couple of weeks I've been playing a few times and I've put a new putter in my bag and genuinely it is like cheating with the amount of putts that I've been holding. If you want to learn about that, make sure you check that video out. 